So I log into WPCRM, click on the settings tab, and then down the side we'll see each of our entities. We can add custom fields to any of these entities, but today I'm going to show you how to add a custom field to a contact. Clicked on the custom fields settings screen, and we see a list of all the existing custom fields for the contacts. I'm going to create a new custom field today, and I'm going to call it personal interests. So this is information that we can capture on the contact for personal interests for any of our given contacts. I enter the instructions that we see on the screen as well as the name of the field. I'll put it in the personal profile category. The next step is to describe the type of data that we want and I'm going to make this a selection list because there'll be multiple selections that we can apply for each contact to say what their personal interests are. I'm going to add three personal interest options just for demonstration. Let's sports, arts, and current affairs. Scroll down a little and we are going to say that we're going to allow multiple selections on this particular custom field because our contacts might be interested in one or more of these uh, personal interests. I have some controls over how this field is displayed. I'd like it laid out in columns. We'll do one column and there's also some controls over how the advanced options, how the question and response are going to look. We'll allow the uh, the custom field to be searchable and I click Save. Next step I'm just going to show you how this looks when we open up a contact. You can see that the new custom field has been created. Let's put it in the personal profile category. If I go to a contact and open up a recently viewed contact, if I click Edit, I'll be able to see from this screen our new custom field and I can select as many of these as I want since it's multi-select, hit save, and that saves that information on the contact record. Thanks for listening. Tune in again for another of our WPCRM shorts.